Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. It is your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly, email tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we're discussing a model launched in 500 pieces as a limited edition for the 2020 model year. This is the Blanc Pen 50 Fathoms Bathyscaphe Daydate Desert Edition. The desert tones are self-explanatory, as is the day-date complication. This is a 1970s-inspired take on the 50 Fathoms Bathyscaphe family that debuted back in 2013. So in steel, the watch is fully matte finished and has a 43 millimeter diameter, a thickness of 14.4 millimeters, and a lug tip to lug tip span across the wrist of 50 millimeters with a 23 millimeter spacing between the lugs. We'll throw it on my wrist, which is 16 centimeters in circumference, an oval across the top. You can see it fits well, but I do feel like we're pushing up against the limit of what's possible. These remarkably straight and squared off lugs push right out to the edge of my wrist. So I'm going to say you want a wrist around my size to wear this. So 15 to 16 centimeters, certainly no less. It is, however, thinner than a 50-15. So you will find by a slight margin, it's a bit more cuff compatible. It's not overbearing considering the complexity as well as the 300 meter water resistance. Now the timepiece includes a lovely strap. There are actually three different straps you can get on this watch. Sailcloth is available in beige as well as gray. And then there's this uh, minimally tanned, almost raw, medium brown calfskin. And you can see that it does have a lot of the qualities of the underlying animal hide, including imperfections, tears, scars, and a distinct graining that you can feel, almost like suede. You can also appreciate that is a thick cut piece of leather with a monotone stitch and a sheer cut side showing you how thick that leather is. There's some bolstering adjacent to the lugs on the bottom side. You can see calfskin. It is a brand new Blanc Pan factory strap matched with a Blanc Pan Bathyscaf pin buckle. And taking a look at the case, I mentioned it's a matte satin finish, so non-reflective, non-polished. It does give it a muted look, which is appropriate given the subdued tones of the dial. We have a no-guard profile, as this is designed to be a more overtly vintage-inspired case than the 5015. This, after all, is the reference 5052 based on the 5000 Bathyscaphe. We have an enormous crown that is screwed down. The watch remains 300 meters water-resistant. One of the fascinating features here, we do have a hacking seconds function, so let's get that out of the way. You can stop the seconds hand and set it to a reference time. But the double quick set for the day and the date doesn't work quite the way it does on a lot of other day date watches. When I adjust the date, I also adjust the day. So you're going to want to set that date first and then turn it in the other direction, which allows you to adjust the day. That's how that works. We have a couple of different levels of focal plane on this dial, starting with the hybrid baton syringe hands and the seconds hand at center. Uh, those are bright polished. You can see that we then have applique indices that are inboard of a sort of grill that forms a basis for reading seconds and minutes. We'll do a loom shot so you can see what all of this looks like in the dark. The watch does have a luminescent index on the bezel. You can hear it's an excellent bezel detent. Precise, sharp to the touch, sharp to the ear easy to locate with 120 clicks. It has a ceramic insert for scratch resistance. Flip it all over and you can see that, well, we have a version of the 1315 here. This is a movement with three mainspring barrels, automatic winding, a 120 hour power reserve. It is caliper 1315 DD for day and date. Three barrels and five days of power reserve. We've got a robust free sprung balance adjusted in six positions, not the chronometer standard of five, six. Beats away at 28,800 vibrations per hour. It's free sprung for shock resistance and durability as well as precise setting. And it features an anti-magnetic silicon hairspring. Uh, this movement features gloriously broad bevels on its bridges. You can see that they are rounded and enormous. And in good taste, they've used a sort of spiral graining or directional brushing across the bridges rather than a 
archaic Cote de Genève, which would look out of place on a watch movement this modern. You can also appreciate that there's solarization on the ratchet wheel, black polishing on all the screw heads. Taking a quick look, you can see that even the jewel sinks feature a mirrored beveling internally. Those bevels are just incredible. The best you'll find this side of Romain Gautier and Laurent Ferrier. And to compare a watch like this, a diver, to those types of brands, deeply impressive stuff. This movement is well known to run plus one second a day or even fractions of seconds. So with this movement, it doesn't just look good, it runs as well as it looks. Reach out to Team Also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.